Hey Arkansas, welcome back to Mondays with Mike. You, we're glad you could join us today. Now, I told you previously, last time we looked at this machine, at some point we would get it out in the dirt and I would show you how some of the controls work. So today I'm going to demonstrate for you uh, the skid steer mode on this new 306. Uh, it's a really nice feature. Uh, it makes it really comfortable. You don't even have to use the uh, travel pedals on it when you're in this mode. So. I think if you do a demo on it and try it out, yeah, now it's going to take a little getting used to, but it's really comfortable for you when you're operating. So let me explain to you a little bit about how it works. Okay, on your left joystick, the yellow button is what's going to turn on and off your uh, uh, skid steer mode. So if you look at the monitor here, I'll activate it. And you can see that skid steer came up and it shows that uh, you have control in skid steer pattern. Okay, so at that point, this the right uh, joystick becomes your hydraulic control. So you'll have your boom up and boom down. You'll have your uh, bucket, bucket control is the same, okay? So the difference here is there's a button on the front of the joystick. So if we push that, it takes it out of thumb and puts it into uh, the stick mode. So now we've got our stick and our boom up and down and bucket all on one control. So that being said, now when we've dug our trench and we get ready to back up a bit and start our new dig, all we have to do is pick our blade up with our blade lever and then uh, just move our left joystick back and it, and it backs us up. Okay, so then we can put our blade back down and restabilize ourselves, and we're you're ready ready to go to work again. So that's kind of how it works. It's uh, like I say, it it takes a little getting used to. I've dug us a little trench here just doing it myself, and uh, like I say, it's uh, it's very comfortable though because you can just sit back in the seat and just do uh, make your dig and. Uh, all with one hand. Swing, stick out, dump, swing back. You can see it's a pretty quick little machine so uh, it, like I say you got to get in here and run it a little bit and uh, I really think you'll like it though so it's got a lot of a lot of other nice features in the uh, monitor one of them is cruise control so uh, where that would come into play so I wanted to blade this back in I could go into cruise control mode and make it where this joystick now controls my blade and not my boom functions and then you can make a nice smooth finish just like you would with a dozer. So uh, if you want to hang on a minute, I'll get that set up and we'll come back and I'll show you how that works. Okay, welcome back. Let's go in now and we'll change this. We'll go into our settings. We'll go into, uh, go to machine settings. Okay, we'll go to control mode. We'll go to stick steer modes. Okay, and then here's where we choose from excavator to blade. Scroll down to blade, hit okay. Now we can go back home. And now our joystick is gonna control our blade. So we'll put it back in skid steer mode. We'll raise our blade. We can come back and forth like a dozer. And we can control our, our blade by just by just moving our right joystick. Okay. And what you'll find with that, it makes a real it makes it really comfortable. It makes a nice smooth finish and a lot less effort than normal. So come see us and let's check that out and we'll we'll bring you out here in the dirt and show you how it works. So 
One more thing I'll show you in a few minutes and we'll come back and I'll show you cruise control and show you how that works. Give me just a sec and I'll see you back here in just a minute. Okay, welcome back. I got to move back a little bit where I can show you how their cruise control works. We got to be in skid steer mode before we use it. Our icon's already up on the monitor, so we'll go ahead and activate skid steer mode. We got to have motion before it'll come on, and to turn it on, we're going to use the jo the button on the front of the right joystick or left joystick. And as we're moving, we'll push the button, activate it. You see the light turn green. Now I'm not touching anything. Okay. Now to stop it, I can either pull back on the joystick. or I can hit the button. Whichever way you want to do it, I just find it's about as easy just to hit the joystick and deactivate it and you stop right there. So it's also, I've used it before for grading. So we can start moving forward, activate it, and now I can use my blade and then I can kind of watch what's going on and float the blade as I need to. That takes one, that's one less thing I got to worry about right now. Okay, deactivate it. It's as simple as that. It's not real complicated, it's just a lot of things going on at one time. It's just the, the next gen, just a little something we got to get used to. But I think you'll find it's pretty convenient and you'll like it. Makes it real comfortable. Um, if you got any questions, give us a call. Come by and let us demo one for you. We'd be glad to see you. And uh, that's it for this time. Have a great day and see you next week.